Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Today, I'm going to take a look at a Read It Later application that's been around for a very long time, but hasn't really had any kind of major coverage on Screencast Online, certainly not in its own full video anyway, and that's Instapaper. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with what a Read It Later service is, it's able to collate articles from a variety of sources, even videos from YouTube, and store them all in one easy to use application for consumption at your leisure. Now, Instapaper is available on macOS, iPadOS, and iOS, as well as through a web browser. And today I'm going to be looking specifically at the iPad version, mostly to allow for more real estate whilst looking at the mobile version of the app. However, you can pretty much take everything that we cover today and replicate it on the other versions. Okay, before we open up the application on the iPad here and start creating accounts and the like, Let's take a little look at the pricing because you can use Instapaper for free. There is no requirement to purchase it at all. And for many of you, the free version will be more than enough to work with. So I'm on the Instapaper for iPhone and iPad web page here. And as I scroll, there is some information on why the mobile version of Instapaper is so good. So each version of the pages that you add to Instapaper are mostly text only with minimal images and there's no requirement to zoom in and read the text. You can adjust all of the fonts and the spacings. You can find new articles directly from within the applications as well as post to a variety of social media platforms. But this is just a real subset of what the application can do. We'll see more if we come down here and tap on premium, because this will give us a look at what the premium features are of the application and how much they cost alongside the free features that you have. So we can see here it's $3 per month for Instapaper Premium, or you can pay $30 for the year, effectively giving you two months for free. And the core features that you get with this are full text search, which means that whether an article is in Instapaper ready to be digested or sitting in a folder, perhaps archived away in case you need it later, you can search for anything in the content of that article. You can add notes to your Instapaper articles if you're using it for solid research purposes. And you're limited to a maximum of five per month on the free version. However, the premium version is unlimited. Next, a great accessibility feature is text to speech playlists, which will read out articles to you, which is really useful if you want to consume articles whilst walking, driving, or perhaps working out. And then finally, speed reading here. And this is where Instapaper will show you the text of an article one word at a time. And you can adjust it from 200 words a minute to, I believe, 650. Now, free users can read up to 10 articles per month with this. However, premium users have it unlimited. And then below that, you can see a more detailed side by side comparison of the free versus premium features. So in both, you can save unlimited articles, videos and other pages, which is the main reason why the free version will work for so many of you. As it's a web service, it's easy to sync cross platform. You can create folders to store and compartmentalize your articles. And of course, we're going to go through all of this as the video progresses. You can save from a large number of applications. And today we're going to use Twitter as an example, although you can take the premise of how this works and apply it to other apps. You have access to support with the free and premium versions, and you can also link to third party applications with API integration. So you can clearly see it's a great free offering. And then below that, we can see the features that were highlighted at the top of the page there. With the addition of the Instapaper site not having any ads with the premium version, there is also the ability to send articles to your Kindle through the mobile apps. And then, of course, at the bottom, the knowledge that by having a premium subscription, you're supporting the continued operation of Instapaper. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today 
and become a Screencast Online member.